Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to talk about uh, the topic name is the difference between a stateful set object and a deployment object that is provided by Kubernetes. Okay, so in this video, we will talk about what all the major differences we have in these two objects. We'll try to understand it. And maybe in the next video, we'll see practically how we can uh, create the stateful set. And a deployment, practically, we have already seen. You will find the video in the playlist, Kubernetes playlist. I'll also share this link in the description. So let's talk about the differences. So uh, we have already discussed about a deployment. Okay, Deployment is basically used for an application, which we want to keep it running all the time. So when we create a deployment with a specific number of replicas, so first a deployment object will get created. Then uh, a replica set controller will be created. And then depending on how much number we have given it for a replica, those many pods will get created. And the replica set controller will make sure that those many pods are running all the time. Okay, even if some pod gets deleted, it will make sure that another one created. Okay, so now if you talk about a stateful set, stateful set behavior is also kind of a similar only, okay, where if you deploy the application through the stateful set, stateful set will also provide you the high availability, okay, even the update functionality and all. But there are three major differences we have between a deployment and stateful set. So that's what we are going to talk about, okay. So the first one is where this uh, two objects are preferred. Okay, so here we will talk about a deployment, and then other side we'll talk about the stateful. Okay, so the first difference is a deployment is preferred for stateless application. Okay, deployment is preferred for stateless application because. In a deployment, okay, it would be very difficult to manage the storage part. Like if, they, if there is any application where we need to maintain any state, okay? So deployment does not provide any facility there, okay? So that's the reason deployment is more suited for stateless application and stateful set is suited for stateful application, okay? So when we say stateful application, that means on the application style, okay, we have to make sure we are maintaining the state of the application okay the second difference we have is about the uh, the identity okay the pod identity so in the deployment pod identity is not fixed okay not fixed that means if you guys remember when we create a deployment under that pod gets created with some random name okay and if any pod gets deleted next time the pod will come up with a completely new name. So there is no fixed identity, okay? Even it, the new pod will also get it with a new IP as well. So there is no fixed identity to the pod, okay? But in case of a stateful set, okay, whenever we create uh, a stateful set and under that, what whenever pod gets created, so each pod will get created with the names like pod zero, pod one, okay, pod two, like this. Uh, names of the pod will be there, okay? And even if any pod gets deleted, that will again come up with, as, as the stateful set is also providing the high availability, so whenever any pod gets deleted, it will come back with the same name again, right? So there is a fixed identity for the pod in the form of a name, okay? So even if it gets deleted, they will come back with the same name, okay? So this is the first difference. That's a pod identity is not fixed for a deployment, but identity is, identity is fixed for your stateful set. Okay, now what is the next difference we have? The next difference is scaling is random. Okay, in case of a deployment, scaling is a random. That means, let's say we have right now five replicas, and let's say if we scale it from five to 10, so what happens right away extra five pods get created and we will have a total 10 okay even if we just terminate let's say now we have a 10 replicas and we say scale it down to two so any random eight pod will be terminated and we will have the two number of pods running as a two so that means whenever we create a deployment and when we do the scaling the scaling is completely random in the in in deployment object 
But if you talk about in a stateful set, in a stateful set, scaling is sequential. Okay, scaling is sequential. That means, let's say now we have a one pod which is running under stateful set and we go and scale the stateful set from one to five. So in that case, what happens? First pod two gets created. Once that is up and running, then pod three will get created. Once that's up and running, then pod four will be created. Okay, even in a scale down as well, let's say we have pod one, two, three, four, five. If you scale down from five to two, so first pod five will be deleted, then four and then three. So that's how in a stateful set, Scaling is sequential and in a deployment, scaling is completely random. Okay, so this is an another major difference we have. Then one more difference we have is that right now in a deployment, what happens is whenever we create, a, basically let's say we have a three pod replicas, right? So let's say we have a P0, P1, P2. Okay, let's say we have three replicas. So in a deployment, basically all the pods under the deployment Okay, they basically share the PVC and a PV as well, the persistent volume and persistent volume. Okay, so that means if there are multiple users are kind of accessing, okay, and their requests are getting distributed among multiple pods, at the end, they are interacting with the same PV and PVC. So if there is a lot of interaction is happening, then there will be a slowness in case of there is a lot of read write happening in the persistent volume because all replicas are using the same PV and same PVC. But in case of a stateful set, each of the pod will have its own PVC and its own PV. Okay, so let's say we have three pods. So each pod will have its own PVC and own PV. Okay, and due to this, what is going to happen is, Okay, when there are multiple users who are accessing or getting their requests are getting distributed to multiple pods. Okay, so what is going to happen is initially, okay, all requests will go to the pod zero. So it will have its own PV and PVC. Okay, but even if some request goes to some other pod, they will have their own PV and PVC. Okay, so now you might have a question like when to use a deployment and when to use a state pool set. So these are the three major differences. So we use a deployment to deploy an applications like front-end application where we don't need to maintain any state like your UI, okay? And stateful set is more suitable for the applications like databases where we need to maintain the state or we need to store something, okay? So I hope everyone understood the difference between, these are some major differences, okay? But apart from this, uh, like we can do zero downtime upgrade for a stateful set also, we can do a scale, uh, scaling scale up scale down we can also have a basically an up, uh, upgrade functionality scale up scale down okay we can also get a high availability in both of these objects so those similarities are there but we only talked about this major differences that we so i hope everyone understood if you have any query please post, uh, post as a comment and theoretically we'll also see the stateful set as uh, theoretically we just now talked we'll also see practically Okay, how the stateful set working. So I'll create a separate video for that. Okay, to uh, learn the stateful set practically. Okay, so that's it for this video. If anyone has any question, uh, please uh, comment it in the uh, channel. Comment on the channel. I'll definitely come back with the answers. So if you like the video, please subscribe, share it with your friends. So that's it for this video. Thanks, everyone.